Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to this new video. Bannersnack came back and asked me to do another video about a, their new Instagram story ad feature. BannerApp is an online ad creation tool, like a design tool. Um, it's based in our browser, it's browser based uh, and it's really awesome because we can create ads uh, really easily. We have all the formats in here, we can animate them and we can export them. And uh, they asked me after I did the review in another video uh, to do an Instagram story ad tutorial. So we head in here and we can see that we have a plank slide. A slide is basically like an artboard or a screen and we have layers uh, and there are no layers currently. Of course, you can choose your own uh, images, your own text and so on uh, using those uh, buttons right here and create your really custom ad uh, but i would like to dry out those templates that they got and i would like to show them to you uh, at first so i gotta say they are impressingly awesome i like the colors i like the usage of uh, like photography and so on of, of product photos right there um, and they really look like they would catch my attention if I would see them on Instagram um, or basically any other platform that also has stories like Facebook, WhatsApp or whatever. I don't know. Almost every modern social media platform has those stories, uh, but I mainly use them on Instagram. And yeah, maybe let's uh, look at some of those templates for a second. So I really I gotta say I'm really impressed. Um, for example, this one really looks like this is an eBay ad. So this is 100% eBay. Um, I yeah I like them. Uh, we can just walk. We can just work with with one of them. Uh, maybe let's just stick with this one. Uh, this is probably about some uh, like this watch right here and we can animate them we have now in our layer panel uh, we have a headline we have a clip art which is this uh this arrow and we have a description looking over on our slides we just have the first single slide and we will duplicate it because we would like to create a transition between those two uh, screens and on the second one on the second artboard on the second uh, slide I would like to I don't know maybe change the opacity or change the visibility of this one so that we get like a plinking effect and like a call to action there uh, and we can create a transition an alpha transition and I don't know maybe let's reduce the timing of both of these slides a little bit you also see that uh, the longer the timing is that we have right here the bigger the whole slide in this uh, in this sidebar gets so this is a cool feature it uh, gives us some impression of uh, the length of such a slide and I, I I like it okay so let's preview it okay it's fading in nicely and fading out again so this is already a cool effect. Uh, of course, you could work with that. Um, I don't know. Let's test out what we could do with that uh, with something else. Maybe we can do a slide animation. And I'm sure that usually we should have an, a sliding arrow right here, but I'm not 100% sure. Let's test it out. Maybe the arrow is sliding in somehow. Ah, okay, the whole content is sliding in. Makes sense. Also a cool effect. Um, and basically what you can do is to animate those screens. They also added a timeline feature and I think I will show this timeline to you in an upcoming video because right now I would like to focus on those Instagram ads. Um, and I gotta say, this is a cool feature. So uh, we can replace the, the template that we just created also with a different one. Um, we can say that oops this screen right here is our new ad the second one that we create and we have also a couple of layers here again we have a button which is this one and we have a headline a clip art which is this arrow 
and we have an overlay uh, which I guess is this image oh no it's the color above the image okay the background image let's copy and duplicate our slide and reduce the displaying time again two seconds should be enough and we can add a slight transition I'm not 100% sure guys why those like blur scale and so on aren't uh, available maybe that's because of the technical restrictions of those story ads or uh, maybe that's just not possible um, uh, and we also have to change something on the second artboard of course so maybe we go down a little bit with this with this uh, arrow and it should actually somehow slide up and make a cool effect so maybe it's working you see that it's fading basically so uh see that it's sliding down um but of course we would also like to make it slide up so we just duplicate the first one again and i would like to add a transition between those right here as well um and let's go and display it now it should also slide up so now it should slide up okay the the alpha animation isn't perfect and i i think with the timeline we can also do what i just did in those three slides in a single one by just uh, saying at a certain point of time this one should stay there and on another one it should stay uh, down like this so those are just two simple uh, positions that we would define uh, and those should be able to slide up and down um, but I what I wanted to show you is a couple of animated screens um, because we right now we just looked at the static ones, but I think they already created some cool animated screen designs and story ads. So let's preview this one. And you see it's fading in some cool information um, for some cooking designs, cooking ads. Awesome, okay. And let's look at this one as well. Oh, that's nice. I like the, the creativity of those uh, photos sliding in of the text that's rotating. Um, and yeah, let's just get some ideas from those examples. All of the content sliding in. Those are some pretty basic animations. Of course, you can go really crazy with those. Uh, and let's start from this replace and just check out what they did on their design i think maybe they they use this the the timer the timeline right here and yeah they use it let's hide it again because this will be another video as i mentioned um and they said this is 10 seconds and content is a couple of shapes and a few text layers okay i think what i really like about um banner snack and creating an Instagram ad in here is the, the easiness of working with this. So uh, let's just preview it again, just to get some impression right here. We have a animated ad and I would like to save it. So once you click save, and of course we, we need to save it uh, because I would like to export it, um, give it a name. So Instagram ad, we can give it a URL uh, if you want to link to something. Let's just leave it blank and it's saved. So it's now in our My Banners category, like in our dashboard. And right now we can say we would like to download it. Um, on the More tab, you can view it. You can just do some different stuff with that. And uh, going over to the download tab you see that we can uh download it as a cheap uh as a normal like static image which is the png gif and jpeg and we can also 
download the animated version, which is also like a GIF, an MP4 or an HTML5 uh, design uh, file. But we need the pro version for that. So if you would like to download the animated file, make sure to go for the pro plan. Uh, and yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. Create an account there, it's free. You can test out the same things that I just tested out. Uh, if you're in the ad creation industry or if you have a new client, maybe in a few months or in a few years, who wants to have an ad created by you, then simply go over to bannersnack.com, check out their website. I will also link down below the first review of Bannersnack that I did a couple of uh, months ago. And I think you will get a great impression uh, by watching the review at uh, also. So thanks guys for watching this one, this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned a couple of new things. The Instagram ad is really something that I'm really excited about because banner snack is enabling us to create cool banner, uh, cruel ads i gotta say cool ads are fine i i i don't know i have a couple of ads that i see on a daily basis using instagram uh and if they are well designed that i enjoy them but if i see some really ugly ads then this is not something that i want to see so create more better, more beautiful ads, and we are happy as a user. <laughs> okay, guys, thanks for your time, and we'll see us in the next one. Bye. This video was sponsored by Dev Mountain. If any of you are interested in learning UX design, Dev Mountain is a 12-week design bootcamp intended to get you a full-time job in the industry. You can learn more about this at devmountain.com or by clicking the link in the video description. Thanks for watching the video and we see us in the next one. Bye!